In this video, we're going to talk about another new function in Webmaster Tools, and this time it's international targeting. It was just implemented. Hi, and welcome to this video. My name is Harald Schucknall from omt365.com, and today um, there is another new feature in webmaster tools um, google just announced that they implemented the international targeting so let's look at it um, what it is where you can find it and what it is good for so if you go to your webmaster tools account if you log in there and you go to search traffic and click on international targeting you are gonna see the new section that google just implemented um, basically, what the section is doing, it gives you information if you are um, targeting the countries right. So if you're using hreflang, um, then you really have to make sure that if you're pointing to some language version, that you are pointing back as well. So the languages should also always be uh, connected. I will show you that in a second. So. Um, if you um, arrive in the new section, you will see that there is um, languages and countries, and it will tell us, in our case, your site has 30 hreflang tags, two of them have errors. And um, what that errors could be is, first of all, it could be that the um, country or the language code isn't um, done right. Um, that could be if you're using for certain countries, maybe a wrong ending. Uh, so if you would use for Germany, um, I don't know, the DE, DA on, uh, instead of a DE, DE. So just having a wrong um, a wrong letter somewhere inside, so you're having the language or the, the country wrong, the tool will tell you. But it will also tell you in these cases that um, you're linking to a version where hreflang tag is on, but on that version that you're linking to, it's not linked back. I show that to you in a second. So a very good example how to do it right is actually American Express. If we go to the source code of American Express, um, we see that they are having loads of hreflang um, implemented. That means they really have for every county, every country, you see here AZ, AZ, I think that's uh, Azerbaijan, and then they have Bulgaria and stuff like that. And if you're getting some of that uh, endings wrong, Google will tell you, but Google will also tell you if you're not linking to the version. So if I click on that version, for example, it will take you take us to the Azerbaijan version of that website. And if we go into the source code and that website, um, it's really um, important that um, it's linking back. So you see here, all the stuff is in as well, and it's linking back to the other version again. So that's like it should be implemented. Um, that's one part of the tool. So you will, would see all the arrows here, and you would be able to go in and see the source code and see um, if it's implemented wrong. You could check the, the, um, the language tags here and the country tag, and you would also uh, it will also be necessary to check if it's linked back. Um, the second thing in the new international targeting section is the countries, actually. If I go in here, you won't see much in this case because it's just targeted to Austria. Because it's an AT domain, you don't have the possibility to um, use a different targeting. If it would be a top-level domain like a .dot com.net, .eu, and stuff like that, .info, then you would be able to set um, your target in, it, in here. And actually, that's very important because um, just recently, some Google employees like John Muller um, told us that they're not at all looking at um, server location anymore because they're having all that information if you're setting it up right in webmaster tools so if you would say um, you've got a .com domain and you would target it to the united states they would know that you are uh, uh, 
that you want to target the United States. So keep in mind um, uh, that you're really using the targeting. So now you've seen that you can find out if you implemented hreflang wrong or if you maybe missed out to set the country targeting. Um, so make sure you're getting that right. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to our newsletter. You will find it on omt365.com. See you. Bye-bye.